Fortnite squad. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Brini, guys. Another video. In today's video, I want to show you guys the best pro tips on controllers. So, yes, you guys, we are moving back over to controller. If you guys don't know, I, I moved over to PC gaming. I, I like Fortnite on PC a little bit better. It's a little bit more competitive, a little bit harder, but I still enjoy it a lot better. Everything runs smoothly. But I am bringing you guys finally a controller or a console tips and tricks video. You guys used to love these videos a lot. So, I wanted to bring it to you guys because they have a thing in the settings now where you can actually customize your controller. But before we get into that, guys, again, if you do not have enough money for the battle pass, you guys can actually get it for free on this video. All you have to do is give the video a thumbs up and comment down below what system you play on. We're picking two winners in every single video. The winners of last video is Dragonfire. Your video will be, or your channel, YouTube channel will be on the screen right now. Dragonfire and D The Realist Gaming. Thank you guys so much for commenting and giving the video a thumbs up. So you guys, all you have to do is DM me on YouTube. I'll hit you guys up. I'll send you guys the money so you guys can get the battle pass and stuff like that. Just DM me on YouTube. But guys, with that being said, let's get right into the video. So if you guys don't know, right now I am on console. As you guys can see, everything's console. It's not PC or anything like that and I want to show you guys how easy it is to do things with the new keybinds that I have set up with the controller so if you guys don't know if we go over here we can actually control custom keybinds for each thing on the controller so every button I can make it do whatever I want so we're gonna reset this to normal builder pro and I'm gonna show you guys exactly the difference and it's only one or two changes that makes a huge difference in the game so as you guys can see everything's the same push circle to open up your mats and stuff like that you hold circle to edit and as you can see if you edit it takes a little bit longer because the little loading screen on the circle button has to load up fully now they did update this where it's extremely fast compared to how it used to be but it does bug out sometimes because sometimes it's editing or switching to a different material or it's editing through the wall so what you want to do is you want to switch that up so as you can see it does go quick but it does take some time so we're going to try and fix that in the custom keybind settings and let me show you guys how to do that right now first off we're going to cover just building i don't want to get into like the weapons and stuff and how to go through double pumping or things like that yet just because i want to work on building as you guys can see i have things all over the place where i just built everywhere trying to work on it trying to practice and perfect it for you guys but as you can see i mean i'm on console and i don't even play console anymore but i could still do the what is this the triple layer triple layer support i mean this is this is like a tfue special where he learned it on uh he learned it on pc oh i'm choking Wow, I just choked that. Let me reset real quick, you guys. I mean, I just l found out that I could do this today. And I don't even play on console. That's the crazy thing is I'm not even a console player no more. I haven't touched a console controller in forever. And I'm still able to do it. Like, usually first try it. I don't know why I just messed up right there. I think because I recorded this video once and had to re-record it. So let me show you guys real quick what it looks like. So the Tfue thing is very easy. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? All right, right here. So you just put a floor put another stair and it's just like this this is called the I think the triple layer or the quadruple layer I don't know exactly what they call it but as you guys can see this this method works out really good if people are trying to shoot you down Tfue did it first some console players could do it but not that many and as you can see it's it's very supported people aren't gonna really shoot you down that easy unless they have an RPG or explosives but it's a very good tech technique that I can do just normally which that's just with the update with season 6 everything will run so smooth I mean I can build I could build literally little one by ones extremely quick just because of turbo building and how quick turbo building got. I mean, it's just, you could just do anything so quick now with this new turbo building. Everything just works so smooth, except for editing. So let me see right here. I'm trying to edit this and I keep editing a random wall. Let me show you how to fix that because that is a major issue on console that a lot of console players have where they just say that's the only issue with console is that issue right there. So we're going to cover how to fix that right now. So if we go to settings, we go here, we go to customization. If you guys can see, we got old school, quick builder, combat, and then builder pro custom. We want to go to custom and at the top where it says combat controls at the very top of the little blue screen, you want to switch that over to build controls because we're only going to cover building and everything here is basically set it's good you don't want to change anything all these stairs roof floor wall pieces those are perfect those are kind of like a pc where everything has its own purpose toggle pickaxe you need to keep that traps you need to keep that switch mode edit that's the one why the reason it's taking extremely long to edit so we're going to want to change that you want to keep jump you want to keep rotate everything else is the same now over here you can see that inventory we need to keep inventory change materials that's very important sometimes people don't really use it just because they just use with what they got they don't really care to switch materials and stuff so if you're if you're one of those person people you can actually change it there squad comms that's the one that we don't need like when do we ever use this right here 
Sometimes some people will use it if they don't have a mic, but most of the time people aren't really using this that much. So we're going to get rid of that because we don't need that. And what we're going to do is we're going to move from builds, we're going to move switch mode over to squad comms. So if you go here, scroll all the way down to the bottom. This looks confusing, but it's very easy. Come down to switch mode edit, and then that way that switched over. This is unbound, so we got to pick something for this. And we're going to go ahead and make edit that. Very easy right here. Edit. That's all you have to do, and that's all we're going to do. We're going to exit out of that. And now the only two things that has changed is, as you can see, above my weapons and stuff like that, it says push the right on the D-pad to open up my building material. That's one thing that's going to take some time to get used to, just like any other person on PC. Ninja, Daquan, anyone that plays PC, if they switch their keybinds, Myth, all of them, they've told them before in the past, they've said in the live stream, you got to take a day or two to get used to it, maybe sometimes a week to get used to your new keybinds. But it makes you a better player so if you can get used to this it'll definitely help out a lot so as you can see you can go ahead and open up our building mats just by pushing right now if you see here if we hold if we put this down and we try to edit this with the right on the d-pad the little loading screen happens right there that's where the loading screen happens and that's why it takes so long but now now that we have circle as the new thing as you can see we just tap circle the second I tap circle you're gonna see no loading screen nothing it's gonna it's gonna edit right away so as you can see I literally just tapped it and it edits right away and then you push circle to confirm it so you can literally just tap circle and it, it's just like PC like it's extremely quick and I wanted to bring you guys this video because a lot of people complain about that on console so that's the one thing that you can really change on building everything else is very smooth I mean like I said I was able to do this first try editing walls and stuff like that putting down your floorboards everything is so smooth to the point where it's like why do you want to change anything else like everything works smooth the only problem is editing and let me show you guys something real quick I'll show you how quick it is to get down from a situation like sometimes I know on PC you see people do this a lot like for instance I do it a lot but it's harder on console because you have to wait for the whole loading screen and stuff like that but watch how quick and easy this is on here you ready we're just gonna build like a little little uh, a little tower just a small tower it's like an edit tower that's what they like to call it go up and up and up we're not gonna go too high though and as you can see before we had a hold circle edit that and then we can work like that but now we just tap circle edit tap edit tap edit tap edit tap edit tap edit it's super quick sometimes you'll mess up but it's okay it takes practice again I you guys are probably gonna be quicker than me at this because I don't play console anymore so this is a little bit weird for me but for those of you that are console gods and you play console all the time and you stick with console you're going to be very good at that. You're going to be very quick. And I mean, that's how quick I could do it without even playing console. Like, I'm a PC player now. But this is still extremely effective. Works really good. But guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. If you guys do enjoy the console tips and tricks and you want more of these console tips and tricks for you guys, all you have to do is give the video a thumbs up. The more likes I get, the more I know that you guys enjoy these videos. But if you guys do want private coaching, I am a coach over at TopFist.com. Top link in the description is my, like, I guess partnership page if you click on that you can apply to get coached by me one-on-one -on -one. so basically what we do is I go through playground mode or we can do duos and stuff like that and I give you one-on-one -on -one tips and tricks I find out what you need help in what you struggle in and I try to perfect that and build that as your strength your weaknesses I take that and flip it and make it your strength so guys thank you so much for all the love all the support and I'll see you guys in the next video peace <music>